I'm shocked at the quality of the facilities. Yeah. I'm, I'm blown away. Uh, and one thing that really touched me as I walked through is a mural on the wall, uh, which uh, it, it features some some great warriors from back in the day. And, and one guy coming out of the clouds right next to the changing room door is a young man called Sonny Fye. And I didn't really know the story. I said uh, to Graham, who was showing us around, who's, who's this? And he told us that it's a young bloke who sadly passed away in 2008, saving his brother and his cousin. And he, did play, he was there for your last game. He was there. He was the 18th man for my last game. He was the youngest in the team. He was only, um, I think he was 18 years of age, maybe a little bit uh, younger than that. But he was the biggest. He was the strongest. He had the biggest smile. He really loved being in that environment. And if you talk about competing, he was one guy who wanted to compete. Like, he was someone that everyone earmarked as being the next Sonny Bull or even potentially better. Um, he was a genetic freak. Um, he loved to do uh, rugby league and he was a good student. Um, so the sky was the limit for him and he was selfless and that's why he jumped in uh, the water and he looked after his brother and that's why, um, you know, every year when that anniversary comes around, um, everyone who knows in or of him or, or around the club um, always make mention and tributes to the fine young man that he was because um, you know we, we didn't see the best of him but uh, he was a guy that touched everyone um, off the field and on the field he was uh, an amazing kid